Our family recently took a trip to the largest butterfly park in the world, Butterfly World in Coconut Creek, Florida. In this video, I'm going to share with you our personal experience at the park, from the birds to the creepy crawly bugs. So stay tuned for our experience at Butterfly World. Hello friends, welcome back to our channel. Today we are at Butterfly World in Coconut Creek, Florida. And let me tell you, this place was amazing. So when you first come in, they have a research and development center and they have all these cocoons in different phases of life. So you get to see what it's actually like behind the scenes. It was really cool. And as you continue to walk past the research center, you enter butterfly world and it's like a little butterfly heaven my daughter was so excited she could not believe it we i've never seen this many butterflies in one place before they have over 20,000 butterflies in 20 acres of land So you can't pay ahead, you actually pay when you get there and it's $32.50 for adults and $22.50 for children between the ages of 3 and 11. Now at first we thought it was a little bit pricey just to see butterflies but then we realized it's a full experience. We were there for a little over 2 hours just walking around, sitting down, letting butterflies fly on us and then we realized that this park is way more than just butterflies, there was a lot more to do there. So we went in the beginning of spring, which was still a little cool for South Florida. But I'm, when I say cool, I mean like high 70s, low 80s. Um, so it did get pretty hot there because although it's covered, the building is, in itself is not air conditioned. So bring water, bring snacks. If you have fans, bring the fans as well because it can get pretty warm because you're still outside, it's just covered. Now, before you leave the actual butterfly center, you get patted down, they check and make sure there are any butterflies stuck on you, and then you keep going. And as you can see, the park is a lot larger than what it seems. Now we're entering the tropical bird aviary where they have all these tropical flowers and tropical birds, and they have butterflies, but these are considered like wild butterflies. So if you see any in this section, these are considered wild butterflies. Other than the butterflies and the cool bridge, this may be one of our favorite parts of coming. We got to feed birds nectar. I believe it was $2 for a small container of nectar that you can feed the birds. 
and it was so much fun be careful because they poop everywhere but it was really fun kimmy got to feed them and one even jumped on her head <laughs> Now the part of the experience that is air conditioned and very cool is the bug exhibit. So they have different type of bugs, different type of butterflies. Some of the biggest butterflies I've ever seen in my life is there. And it was really interesting to see the different patterns on them, their wingspan. So can we really enjoy being able to see them without them moving so much and be able to explain to her what they are and their name. So this was, this was actually really cool too. Now we're entering the bug zoo where they have all the creepy crawly critters you can imagine from huge spiders to cockroaches. Some of them were actually feeding which is kind of weird to watch but they have everything so if you have kids that really enjoy butterflies and then you have kids that like the creepy crawly critters they'll enjoy this part too. Cammie thankfully likes both. She was very interested in both so it was a win-win for us. Now before you leave, you can purchase tropical plants, so pick up one if you want. And they have a really cool souvenir shop, you just weren't allowed to take videos in there. So, I don't know why. Well, that's my video. I hope you enjoy. Don't forget to like and subscribe. See you next time. Bye!